Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. We're continuing to follow a developing story. What's causing a mysterious illness in some dairy herd populations in the Southern Plains? Veterinarians are right now in the field trying to find out. As we first told you yesterday, dairies in the Texas Panhandle seem to be hit the hardest, but there are also cases reported in New Mexico and Kansas. On your screen are some of the common symptoms, which can last up to 14 days. And while the illness is not reported to be deadly, it's cutting milk production by 10 to 20 percent. Now, as we said, the exact cause of that illness is not yet known, but the Texas Animal Health Commissioner says veterinarians are visiting dairy farms, monitoring and evaluating the cases in search for answers. We've uh, diagnostic labs have done uh, several tests and we have several uh, pending samples as well as incoming, sa incoming samples all the time. But right now the test results are what we call inconclusive, meaning although we've diagnosed some bacteria that's causing secondary pneumonia or maybe some viral pathogens that are uh, small positive, Right now, there's nothing conclusive as to an exact diagnosis for the, you know, if it is a pathogen, a bacteria or a virus, we do not know what that is at this point in time. And now other state ag agencies are taking note of the illness and warning producers to make sure they're practicing good biosecurity in order to avoid possibly introducing the disease to their cattle. It's also worth noting there is no known risk to the public health and there are no restrictions on cattle from the affected states. Later next week,